Hey parents, we all know that those mornings getting out the door to work and school can be an absolute mad dash. So this week's tip sounds like a simple one, but it actually has some really important developmental nuances to it. So the tip is get everything ready the night before so that your mornings can be more peaceful. I'm talking everybody's had a bath or a shower, homework is done, bags, backpack is packed and ready by the front door, clothes are laid out, lunches are made. And I know you've probably heard that before and you've said to yourself, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start doing that, sure, no problem, and then it kind of falls by the wayside. But here's the piece you may not have known. In the morning, that mad dash out the door, that rushed feeling is really hard on the nervous system. And that rushed feeling is the downfall of emotional self-regulation and executive functions, which are two things that your kids are absolutely going to need for school success. So it's not just about making your life easier in the mornings. It's about preparing them to go off and have a successful day. And the best part is that I'm not suggesting you do it all by yourself. I'm suggesting that based on your children's ages and stages, you get them as actively involved as possible in the processes. Your middle and high schoolers should be able to do this stuff completely on their own, but they're not gonna get there overnight. So talk to your kids, brainstorm together, collaborate on creating a list of all that stuff that needs to get done, and then see what they come up with with your guidance for how they wanna do it. Maybe they're a checklist kid. Maybe they're a picture chart kid. Maybe they just need a photograph of what done looks like by the door so that they can make sure it matches all of those things. Maybe they have it all inside their head and all they need from you is a gentle reminder now and again. Whatever that looks like, the only way they're gonna figure out how they organize themselves best is if they try it. Sometimes they're gonna be successful, sometimes they're gonna fail miserably, and then you're gonna reflect on it, you're gonna talk about it, and you're gonna try some new strategies together. It's gonna to lighten up those mornings, it's gonna set up those executive functionings, it's gonna set up that emotional self-regulation, and it's just gonna feel better for your whole family. Good luck.